check this out. It looks like just a little USB thumb drive, but it's an entire computer right here in the palm of your hand. This is the mini PC, which was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. You get the mini PC. It is HDMI plug-in. You can go directly into your, uh, into your monitor, or you can use the adapter so that you have a little bit of extra length. And so we're going to use the adapter, and it's a male-to-female adapter. And we're going to plug that into the back of our... Actually, I'm going to plug it into the back of my TV just to show you the versatility of it. You've only got two USB ports on here, and you've got your... Uh, your your power port and then you got a power button right here So I've already got a, a wireless mouse and keyboard installed on here And I just want to show you the versatility of it first. We're going to put it on my 55 inch TV screen I think this would be really neat to uh, To have like on a family night if you were planning your vacation You can put all of the vacation resorts all the places uh, and and everybody can see the same screen at the same time so you're not hovering over somebody's shoulder, breathing down somebody's neck. You can put everything right here. Have a good family night with some uh, some popcorn and some drinks and, and plan your vacation. So far, I've not put on any other browsers yet, so you just got the Microsoft Edge browser, but you can see that everything is working just like your, your normal computer. And you can do this right here in your living room. You can do it in any room where you've got a monitor that, that has an HDMI port. You can just connect it just that simple. All right, I want to show you just how easy it is to install this uh, mini PC just on any uh, monitor. So I'm just going to plug in my power adapter and get that plugged in. Next thing I'm going to do is plug in my HDMI. And we are up and running just like that. I got my mouse, I got my keyboard, and we are ready to go. All right, so I wanted to show you a couple of features here on the uh, on the, the mini PC. So we're going to get into our settings and just take a look and see what is under the hood. So when you get into your settings, you're going to find that you got all of the uh, the regular settings that you do for any Windows 11 or any Windows uh, based PC for that matter. And um, wanted to go down here to uh, to see what kind of a hard drive we have. Uh, so what we have here is an Intel Celeron uh, J4125 CPU. And when you search that, what you're going to find is that has a, uh, a power outage of uh, 10 watts, power consumption of about 10 watts. And so uh, that's really not too bad. And the speed of it is uh, third in its class when you start looking at these mini PCs. These are specifically designed for the mini PCs. You got 8 gig of installed RAM. And then... Um, we're looking at our storage and hard drive space. So when we get into our storage and hard drive space, look, you can see that I have a uh, hundred or eighty-seven gig free. So this must be a hundred gig, a hundred and seventeen gig um, hard drive. So it's not uh, it's not a huge hard drive, uh, but it's going to be something that you can at least download some of your streaming software. You can use this for as a gaming emulator. You can use it as a, a portable desktop or a laptop. One thing that you might need to remember when uh, when porting this around is that you're also going to have to have a keyboard, a mouse, and some way to do your, your typing if you're using it for office work and things of that nature. It does just have the two USB ports, one HDMI, no USB-C or uh, any other ports uh, like an audio jack for uh, for headphones or things like that. So uh, it's a really neat little device, fun little device that you can take anywhere. Um, you know, you can also take it camping. It doesn't have to have an internet. Uh, however, it does connect to my Wi-Fi and uh, didn't have any trouble down here. We are uh, probably 50 feet, 75 feet from my, uh, from my router. Now you can set this up with another Bluetooth speaker and maybe you can connect the headphones through your, your uh, external speaker, um, however you want to work that. But um, this, this unit itself does not have an audio jack. Now this audio is coming from my monitor and so it's kind of tingy. Uh, I can't change my, uh, my bass or my, uh, my tenor, my tone. And so this is how it, it sounds here. But if you was to reduce that volume, you know, and you're doing your work by yourself, this is not a, a bad volume. This is not a bad setup. Uh, I really think that these are super handy. You can see I have another mini PC right here. I really like these things just because of their universability and uh, just the adaptability 
Uh, again, a lot of people are going to connect these to the back side of their TV and they're going to use it as a gaming emulator. They're going to use it uh, for, uh, for their office work or their desk work. They're also going to use it a lot for their uh, streaming devices so that you're not, uh, uh, you're not bound by the parameters of, uh, of a Fire Stick or a Roku or any of those other streaming boxes or devices. So the, uh, the mini PC, definitely something that uh, I, would, I would recommend and uh, consider if you're looking to downsize some of your equipment that you have on your desk.